Hey guys, what is going on? It is Debogi here, once again, and I just made a cannoneer earlier today, so I decided to go ahead and post up some videos and just show you guys what is up. So in GMS, as you guys know, a legend patch just came out, and there is a lot of new content, and I'm pretty excited for it, and of course I'm very excited for the Mercedes, but I thought I'd go ahead and start a cannoneer to show you guys a little bit of it, because I know in Tespia I showed you guys already the Mercedes and Demon Slayer, and I didn't get a chance to show the cannoneers, so I decided to go ahead for all you cannoneer fans out there to show you a little bit of the cannoneer. Um, I got it to level 39, I believe, at the moment. My goal is to reach level 70, when Mercedes comes out due to the fact that it has a pretty cool ring you can transfer within the accounts and a buff that you can give to one character and it's I believe 15 all stats and 5% HP and MP and the cannoneer will give out this buff so it is pretty cool and also not to mention the cannoneer has a lot a lot of storage space so that is really awesome right when you hit level 10 you get I believe like 12 or 20 some odd storage spots or like use tabs and you're just you can really pack a lot of junk in your trunk let's just say it that way and um but yeah so cannoneer it's pretty hard for me actually to play um it's really tactical you need to be really good with the cannoneer in order to be successful in training and i'm just i'm getting used to it still and it's pretty hard um but it's it's a lot of fun though i really enjoy just holding a huge cannon bursting big cannonballs all over the place yeah so I mean it's definitely a lot of fun it's a change from a lot of the characters um I feel like it's a uh, yeah it's it's just a normal character I, I don't see too much flashy moves like I saw in the Mercedes or Demon Slayer but it still feels really unique and it's a lot of fun to play so hopefully I can make it to level 70 <laughs> but uh yeah I'm not really sure what else to talk about um but I guess something very crazy happened to me today that I just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys. I uh, wasn't planning on telling you guys this, but <laughs> yeah, so you guys heard of the butterfly and snowball effect, right? It's I feel like it's kind of the same thing, maybe a little less, but uh, butterfly effect is this notion or thought that when a butterfly flaps its wings, a tornado can happen somewhere across the world just because that butterfly flapped its wings. You might think it's a whole bunch of hooey, but I um I I think I experienced my little butterfly effect today. Oh man, I had a rough day coming home from school, guys. So, I was at the train or at school and right now or today's high at Colorado was probably like 0 degrees with like a negative 20 wind chill, wind chill, and that's Fahrenheit, so that's like negative some odd degrees for you Celsius lovers out there, <laughs> and um, so I was, I was out there, and I, you guys seen my trip to school, and it's a pretty fierce hike to get there, so it was really cold outside, and I just finished my computer science class, and I just, I was going to uh, catch the train to go home, and I noticed that my shoes were untied, so I was like, oh, well, I usually don't tie my shoes if I see that they're untied. I'm just like, I'll just tie it when I sit somewhere down, you know, and just be lazy. But I decided to go ahead and tie my shoes. So I stopped, bent down, and I tied my shoes. This tying shoes screwed up my whole day. <laughs> I, I, I was tying my shoes, and my shoelaces were really short, so I had to pull them, spend extra time with it, and then I finally got it tied. And then I looked up, and my train was there. So I was like, crap. So I ran, and I did it Deboki style, except Deboki style failed this time. And I missed the train. And I was like, all right, it's okay. The train will come in 10 minutes. So I was waiting, waiting. Like four trains came by, and my train didn't come. And it was freezing outside. And that today I decided to wear something spiffy because it's my last day of school before finals. So I was like, I'm going to wear some short sleeve shirts and, you know, my nice thin sports jacket. Bad idea. I was out there, like, freezing. And I was so miserable. It was so cold. And I waited there for about an hour. And I finally saw a train come. All right, and I was like, what is going on? So I see a train come in the distance. And I was like, this, this has to be my train. And it comes and it's empty. It's completely empty. And I'm like, wait a second. 
and it says out of service on the train i'm like you gotta be kidding me and you know so i have my ipod in and i'm just like all right at least i have my ipod i'm jamming out i'm thinking positive so about an hour and five minutes later a train finally comes and it's just packed full of people because the train didn't come for 30 minutes and i'm like great so i'm like i just squirm my way inside the train and there's no seats so i'm standing and I'm freezing and my face was just so cold and you guys probably maybe experienced some coldness um, well when I was standing out there the problem was is that my nose got really runny so I had to breathe out of my mouth so my mouth was open the whole time so my phrase my, 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 face, my face froze like that with my mouth open and then I was standing in the train with my mouth open I was trying to close it but I couldn't so I was like opening and closing my mouth and I looked like a fish and these people were like looking at me like what's up with this fish boy over here why is he doing this you know it's like already packed and the train's uncomfortable he doesn't have to be making these fish faces and I was like oh my goodness I'm just miserable I'm like defrosting I can feel my like hair icicles melt and trickle and not only that but my iPod ran out of batteries because I was standing out there for so long so I had to listen to these two girls jabber about some sort of food party that they had and how Mary didn't like deviled eggs because of the name devil in it so she named them dirty eggs and she actually liked it I don't even know but Mary likes deviled eggs now because she calls them dirty eggs so that was my trip home <laughs> wow I kinda went on a tangent there anyway so that was my little I guess snowball effect or butterfly effect and I thought it was just kinda interesting because it was a whole it was just a little event of tying my shoe which just made me have all these crazy events and I was standing in the train freezing and I was I was realizing this and I was like wow just little things that we do in life can change so many different things and I mean I don't want to like scare you guys like say oh you know be careful of every little thing you guys do because something could happen horribly if you write with a pen instead of a pencil but just think about it like every little decision you have has a it has a, a thing to follow up with it you know it's everything has a consequence that's the word I'm looking for consequences <laughs> it could be good it could be bad and it could be learning but what I like to think of it is make every event that you do a learning experience so anyway you guys are like wondering what does this have to do with maple story it doesn't I just want to tell you my day <laughs> and I just want to vent out because I had a really miserable ride home but I decided that hopefully this cannoneer will make an awesome butterfly effect. Ooh. So guys, like always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Deboki, and we'll be seeing you guys later.